Hi, I'm Kiara here with Keyboy Dorsey today for my song for you interview. So how are you, how are you doing, Keyboy? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Thank I'm you good. for having me. You're welcome. Yeah. So now that we've kind of gotten to know each other, let's start with the first question. Do you think and how do you think this movie will have an effect or change or move people's lives? I think this movie is definitely going to affect change. It's going to affect people's lives. And the reason why I say that is because it's purpose driven. You know, there are messages in there. There's not, there's not just one message. There are multiple messages. And if you're open to listen, you'll see, you know, that there, um, that there are different things going on that can benefit you. You know, there are things that people can, you know, learn from within the film just to help you in everyday life, just to see, you know, um, the different circumstances and situations and how they play out. So I definitely think it's going to help people if you want, you know, it's up to the individual. But I know the movie will affect anyone who gets the opportunity to see it. You know, one of the, the threads, the common thread in the film for everybody is just not to give up. You know, that was kind of the director's you know, mantra, you know, uh, Morgan's mantra, one of the things he was, you know, constantly saying in terms of what was driving the script, it was not to give up, you know, so for me watching the film, it allowed me to see like, okay, I can't give up, you know, I can't give up, like I've gotten this far. What do you say that you enjoyed the most about making my song for you? I loved the opportunity to work with my family and friends. So, do you think that allowing your family to play the roles of these characters made it easier? Uh, I, I don't know if it made it easier. You know, I'm an actor, and with all actors, you know, they're capable, the majority, well, you know, with us being actors, we are capable um, of bringing these characters to life. That's why we get cast. So I know for a fact that, you know, a cast of actual actors could have definitely done a good job. On the other hand, I thought that, you know, casting these people, you know, um, casting my family members, it, it brought something different, you know. So I, I really believe that the right people were cast for it, that they were supposed to be the people that play these parts, even though these parts were based on them, inspired by them, that these characters are created, you know, because of them. I do believe that, you know, they were right for the part. Basically, for people who have never acted before, they've had experience in front of crowds, but no actual acting. Yeah. You think that overall that they did a pretty good job and that you can have expected more from them? You know what? I think I got more than I expected. I think they gave more or than they expected. I think from, you know, for the director, you know, being first time, I just think, you know, um, yeah, it worked out well. It worked out well, you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we were giving Oscar winning performances, but we did a good job. I thought we did a good job, especially when you factor in the fact that, you know, we were all new and we were all in our positions um, for the first time. It wasn't, it, we did okay. Being the main character of this movie, do you say that it was harder, more responsibilities came, or do you think that Everybody had the same amount of responsibilities. Everybody had something that they had to do to make this movie right. Every part is important. You know, one of the first things I was told is there are no small parts, only small actors. I've, you heard, know. I've heard that before. <laughs> you, know, you know, so with that being the case, you know, every part is important. You know, the lighting guy, you know, the DP, everybody plays a huge part. We're all integral. We all, you know, make this machine go. How did you feel when the movie was finished? The Just the actual movie and everything that you had to do with it, with the editing and all the work that you had to put in? Relieved. <laughs> Relieved, thank you. Now, I, I felt good. Um, we had quite a few delays. We had quite a few delays on the film. And, you know, honestly, you know, just being honest, you know, with the viewers, that was a result of my inexperience as a producer. Um, you know, there were quite a few technical issues uh, that prolonged the film. Um, it's, it's 2011 now, but the actual film was filmed in November of 2009. Uh, the script itself, I think, was written probably around that time, probably before, I think, 08. The soundtrack was recorded, you know, the end of 08. So, you know, we kind of, um, we, we just were on hold because of 
you know, some technical things that kind of, you know, uh, threw off production, which does happen. You know, it's not uncommon, but I think these were things that with a little bit more experience, a little more time, just a little bit more know-how and knowledge, we could have better tackled them. We could have better, you know, uh, approach these things. Who is Garfield Dorsey Jr. and why did you dedicate this movie to him? Uh, Garfield Dorsey Jr. is is my father. Um, he is no longer living. Uh, you know, I I wanted him to um, to be a part of the film. You know, it's it's my first time as a producer. Um, it's my first time. You know, as a writer, and I, I just you know my my actual mother is in the film. Uh, she plays Mama Maya Leanne Downs. So my, my actual biological mom is in the film. Um, I wanted my dad to be a part of it because they have been uh, the two biggest influences in my life in terms of where I'm at. You know, the, the, with God being first, of course, they are the reason why I'm even way behind this conversation in terms of the training and, you know, the grooming and just the never giving up on me and the constant pushing. You know, he's not physically here. Um, so I wanted him included, you know, in this production. And I wanted to, you know, just, just dedicate it to him and say thank you. So, we want to know, because, you know, there's, in the movie, there's so many places that it looks like it could be possible for this place to be filmed. Mm -hmm. So, where did the movie take place, and why did, why did you choose for it to take place? There was we tried to shoot it in Florida, but it did not work out, um, and it wasn't supposed to work out. So I'm, I'm kind of thankful for that. A couple of people read the script and said, hey, this just doesn't have a, a Florida feel to it. Uh, and I was like, wow, you know, that's weird. You know, because it was supposed to take place in Yonkers. That's where, that's where the story is. So it was shot in Yonkers, to answer your question. Okay. What type of movie would you call my song for you? Because, you know, there's family movies, comedies, romance, and all that stuff. And I see a little bit of everything in it my song for you, so what would you consider it? You know, there's music in it. Yes. You know, so it does fall under a little bit of musical. Um, it's not an all-out musical, per se, but it falls under musical. Um, I would say that uh, it's definitely family. It's definitely fam family-oriented. I would also say that it's inspirational. Um, it's an inspirational piece. Um, and there's some drama to it, too. But if I had to just, man, I can't pick one. I would probably pick, uh, I don't know, inspirational drama. I would probably, you know, list it as an inspirational drama, you know, slash some musical. So that's yeah. what I would call it. So let's take a look at the screen okay. for um, the basketball scene that you did where you and um, Dwight play. Okay. That kid's a business. What? Bet you I can stop you with this right here, though. Yeah. I don't know what you pull that gun out for. You ain't going to do nothing with it. What you waiting for? What? I murder you with this right here. Whatever. If you was that real, you would already pull the trigger, coward. You would already pull the trigger, coward. Gonna do nothing with it, coward. You coward. Man, pop that kid. <laughs> Try to stop you with this right here, yo, though. Yo, whoa, whoa. That's not necessary, man. I don't want no trouble, man. You try to cop to me or something? What you scared now? Huh? What if I am, man? What if I am? I don't want to lose my life, man. Serious? What you? You lucky today, man. For real. I'm gonna let you live today, but you better not be out here tomorrow, though, homie, because I might not feel the same way. It's my hood. Remember that. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that, that was really good, you know. Thank um, you. Thank you. So, tell me what do you think? Just explain to me, like, do you feel that you would be able to ever be in that situation and know? that that's exactly what you needed to do? Uh, you know, yes. The answer to your question is yes. We wanted to, you know, get two different, um, two sides of the coin, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to, to, we just wanted to give people two different options. You know, a lot of times in life, people think they only have one option. They think they're stuck, they gotta go this route, or they gotta make this choice, you know, for whatever the reason. They don't wanna look bad, they don't wanna look soft. But in all actuality, the second option, the other option, is actually the stronger of the two. You know, people think you're weak when you take that approach. No, that's not weakness. You know, that's actual strength. It doesn't take much to do the wrong thing. It's tougher to make, you know, the right choice. You know, the right choice. Not tougher, but 
there's work involved. It's easier just to kind of do whatever. And we just wanted to allow people to see that, you know, there's another option. There's a better option. There's a right and a wrong way. And we wanted the right way to be shown. You know, that's what we really were hoping for. So, um, sing my song for you. Yes. Because it seems like it's going to continue. Are you going to be making a my song for you too? Yes. Yes, we are making a my song for you too. We've already written a script for it. We're in pre-production for it. Um, and we're just making sure with my song for you too that we, we put more into it, you know, more time, more energy, more effort, uh, casting additional people. There are multiple subplots. It's a bigger story. It's a bigger story. We plan on, you know, kind of getting everything script-wise in that we wanted to. Now that, you know, you told us that you can sing, can, do you think that you would be able to sing for us? Because, you know, all people who can sing or say that they can <laughs> sing will sing. So can you? Do you think you can... Bust a note for us. I, 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 I bust a note. Okay. Right. Uh, sure. Sure. Put me on the spot. All right. Uh, no problem. This is my song for you. How I long for you. No one else will do. Forever me and you. And no matter what comes our way. The blue skies turn gray, I will always stay, and never go away. That was, re that was very good, you know? good job. Thank you. Well, I'm, I appreciate you for taking your time out to come and visit us, see us, sing for us. You Thank know? you. Thank you can't sing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm Kiara with Keyway Dorsey for the My Song For You interview. Don't forget to check out My Song For You coming soon. My Song For You, the movie, and the soundtrack. Make sure you check out the soundtrack as well. You guys, are gonna, guys and girls are going to enjoy the movie. Thank you.